What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this story. And you can either read it yourself or you can just listen to this video where I'm pretty much going to read it all to you. Um, also, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right. Now that we got all that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? And this is a good one. It started off as a rumor and then there was kind of confirmation, but I'm just not sure if this is going to be come to fruition or anything like that. But it looks like Pedro Pascal is going to be playing uh, Reed Richards, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic, for the Fantastic Four movie. Now, we already got Vanessa Kirby as a, a, a visible woman. And so this would be the second casting for that movie. But what I'm hearing, and we'll read through this article, it looks like he's he hasn't signed on yet. But he is, um, they're just basically waiting. They're having scheduling problems with The Last of Us Season 2. So they're trying to figure all that stuff out. All right. And I'll give you my thoughts on Pedro Pascal playing Mr. Uh, Reed Richards at the end of this. But let's go ahead, and throughout. But let's go ahead and start this article. So this says, after months of speculation over who might play Reed Richards, a.k.a. Mr. Fantastic, in Marvel Studios' Fantastic Four, the wait may be finally over. While a deal is far from done, uh, sources tell Deadline that three-time Emmy nominee Pedro Pascal is in talks to play the leader of the iconic superhero team. Insiders add that scheduling is still being worked out, but multiple sources close to the negotiations are saying it's headed in the right direction for Pascal to do this and his other uh, future projects. Pascal has full a full dance card, that includes Gladiator 2, which is expected to go into production before the end of the year, as well as his a popular HBO series, The Last of Us, which is expected to shoot next year, as well as Zach Craig's Weapons. So look, he's got he's got a full dance card, pretty much. And uh, that sounds now, um, I'm going to read this last paragraph, and then I'll tell you all my thoughts on this, this, uh, this, on Pedro Pascal playing Mr. Fantastic. As for other members of the team that can now be worked out as it was essentially essentially figure, to figure out who would be playing Reed Richards before they could go out with offers to others. The hope would be to shoot a early next year, so expect this cast to fill out qu uh, quickly uh, with director Matt Shankman currently in pre-production at Pinewood Studios in England. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige will produce. Pascal has been quiet, uh, quite the run in recent years, including his Emmy nominated role in the hit HBO series, The Last of Us. He was also nominated for hosting Saturday Night Live, which that I find ridiculous, but whatever, uh, which was a, one of the more popular episodes of last season. I mean, I'm sorry, when it comes to, I just want a real quick comment on this. When it comes to SNL, I mean, if you have even a mediocre hit episode, it's one of the more popular ones. Because we have to be honest, SNL hasn't been good for quite some time, in my opinion. I mean, they'll have one sketch or two that's pretty funny. But overall, it's just been pretty like, you know, like, wah, wah, wah. Uh, so it says, uh, which was one of the more popular episodes. He also has Zach Craig's, uh, Craig's next film weapons which i mean who cares so here are my thoughts on this um i think pedro pascal is a very talented actor i and whenever he's on screen i i find him to be very good and i enjoy him but i'm not fooled by his persona of trying to be a good nice guy i think he's a douche and i'm sorry it's very obvious because um there was uh, you know those scoopers that said he was a problem on the mandalorian uh season two and uh they had to to veer away and it's very obvious you can see that that that's what they did in season three and and he's only coming back for season four voice only and and some scoopers had said that that he was only going to do voiceover work that he wasn't going to do uh any visual any of the the stuff in in uh, the costume so um, it, he threw a fit there and I just go, listen, dude, be grateful for what you got. It took you forever to get here. And now you're going to play diva. I don't think so. Um, but he just comes across to me and I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, uh, I don't see the nice guy routine. I, I see way past that nonsense. Also Reed Richards is a white guy. Now I, on, I honestly don't mind, you know, race bending, but 
you just keep doing it. And, you know, I'm just like, okay. And I mean, Reed Richards is a douche in the comic books. I mean, I don't know if you read comic books, but Reed Richards is not a, like, he's not the nice guy scientist. He's a, he's a dick. He's very much like about the science. And, and that's why, that's why, um, uh, Sue Storm, she keeps like running into the arms of Namor. Um, or Namor, uh, but uh, she keeps running the arms of Namor because Reed can be a pretty big, like, very, like, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's just very, like, stone-faced and just very, like, you know, very direct, but not in a good way. Like, you know how you get those those scientists that are like, mm, I'm the nice guy with the glasses, and I'm gonna I'm gonna win the day with the with the lady because I'm I'm she'll see that I'm not a bad boy. I'm a nice guy. Reed Richards is not that guy. He's like he's not sweet and nice. Like he has his moments, but those are far and few between. He is very much about the science, and he just tells it to you straight. And if you don't like it, he's like tough, you know. And he's kind of harsh sometimes. But as far as Pedro Pascal goes, getting this, I mean, he should be great. Grateful. I mean, I personally, if it was me, I'd be weary just because he threw his little fit on Star Wars on the Mandalorian. And I'd be like, listen, are we dealing with a diva here? Because if we're dealing with a diva, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Plus, I have to be honest, I thought Mass Smith would be a great choice for Reed Richards. And 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 if this doesn't go through, if they can't get the scheduling under wraps, then I hope they go back to Matt Smith because I, I think Matt Smith is fantastic, in my opinion, also. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. But so far, I don't. I And we have to ask ourselves, is Pedro Pascal being over... Um, um, oversaturating the market with himself you know we got that with the rock to the point now where i'm just like i don't want to see any more of the rock for a while like i've just i've had enough you know we've seen we've seen him in so much crap that i'm just like you know do we really want more of him and the same thing with pedro pascal i don't dislike pedro pascal but i mean we're seeing him in so much shit you know what i'm saying and i'm just like Maybe we need to veer away from him for just a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. Like I said, if it works out, I don't have faith in Marvel anymore. So, you know, whatever. Maybe this will be good. I just don't have faith in it. But we'll see how this turns out and uh, and uh, and see if he does a good job, if he gets the role. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about Pedro Pascal playing Reed Richards? Are you like me and you just think it's a bad idea and they should try to get somebody else? Or do you think this is a fantastic idea? You love Pedro Pascal and you're like, just come party with me, Pedro, and everything. I get that. You know, like I said before, I think he's a good actor. He's so good. You know, he the emotional range he has is just great. I just don't think he's good for Reed Richards. Plus, I, I honestly think that personality wise, I mean, off screen, it just seems he just comes off to me very douchey. And I I personally, I mean, like me, I have no, no time for that nonsense. I'd be like, no, thank you. You're just too much drama for me. But tell me what you guys think about that. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're on the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.